Welcome to Nine Four Three Two. And uh, since we just finished Mega Man X One, we're gonna move on to Mega Man X Two, which I have not played as much as Mega Man X One, but we're gonna do it. So basically, we have this cutscene in the beginning with the green biker dude in the background, but it's basically saying that it's been six months since the events of Mega Man X One, and Mavericks are still around, and we have this information from a guy named Dr. Kane. And uh, we can find all the last of the Mavericks, hopefully, in, a, in an abandoned um, factory. So, um, we're hoping to take out the rest of the Mavericks. But, little do they suspect that the real war is about to begin. And, um, yeah, that's basically the story of Mega Man X2. The real war. Versus X-Hunters. Oh, hey, a subtitle. But anyway, this is Mega Man X2. Um, I like it. It's uh, one of the best X games in my opinion. There's only eight, but... Uh, and look at that 3D. 3D effect there. So we're gonna hit start. Hit start. Hit start. I didn't hit start. Um, must have been doing s drinking something. But, so we're gonna start the game. And let's go to the first stage. We were just here in the cutscene. And, uh. There's Green Biker Dude in the background. He actually has that name. But he blew up, he's dead. And it was because of that robot there. So let's shoot it down. And one really big improvement about Mega Man X2 is that you start with the dash. So that's great. Um. You don't have to get it, and everything is so much easier with the dash. Anyway, what I was just doing there, I was uh, just dashing through those because the wall, those um, robots will close, and they'll you'll have to shoot the wall robot, and uh, that takes too long. I should consider speed running someday. But uh, there's that robot there that'll try to close the walls on you. Try to close the walls on you, and um, we're at the end of the intro stage. So now we're at a boss door. Um, unlike Mega Man X1, for the rest of the Mega Man X series, all of the intro bosses will be usually super big and usually super easy. Actually, not usually. They will always be super big and super easy from now on. So, well, I mean, it's an intro boss. It can't be too hard. But, um, I don't really have to... Just a little level one charge shot takes out, I don't know, <laughs> a lot of its health. So that's down, and all of the pieces are falling to the floor, and uh, now we have a cutscene with my awesome voice acting. This is their leader. His name is Mega Man X. Those who underestimated him are now nothing but scrap. We don't. We won't make the same mistake. He's powerful, but he's blind to what is happening around him. Well, my voice acting is awesome, isn't it? Our Mavericks will keep him busy until we are ready. Yes. How is the plan proceeding? Collection is proceeding as scheduled. However, we are having problems with the control chip. We have little time. We must finish construction on schedule. We must hurry. So that was that, and now we have eight more Mavericks. Um, I don't know where we found them, but they're here. And we're going to go to the weather control station and take out... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Wire sponge. I'm not sure exactly what a wire sponge is. But, uh, I don't know if it's animal. An animal. So, uh, we're gonna do the item collection thing, and, uh, the first item, it's right up here in Wire Sponge's stage. It's really good, uh, for a first stage, um, it's relatively easy. So, this is the weather, weather control stage. Uh, so the weather will change. I'm not sure what breaking these things do. I don't, I'm not sure the effect, if anybody who's ever played Mega Man X2 and knows that they changed something, please tell me. So up here, um, there's rain, and it'll kind of push you to the side. But you're going to try to get on the platform and jump up to that wall over there. And then you'll grab the 
uh, one up and then the heart tank. Did I mention, er, sub tank, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about the heart tank that we just got. So down here is a secret mini boss, or a mini boss that we'll be able to get to later, but not yet. So uh, we'll get to that. Don't worry about it. Boom. Boom. So up this elevator, there's uh, spikes at the top. Um, more rain and thunder. So th so those got all all the enemies take take weather differently. Like, uh, these guys, they'll drop, um, their weird little seed thing, and maybe if it's raining, I don't know, it'll turn into that little bug thing. But, um, it's not too different, the effects of the weather. Except for maybe one of the enemies which shoots a laser in the rain or something. And the sun. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then there's this really strong enemy at the end of the stage. Um, not not really mini boss title worthy, but um, it takes a it takes a few charge shots to kill. Um, it shoots bombs out of its tail and uh, lasers out of its eyes. So yeah, perfect description. We are at Wire Sponge now, and uh, I'm not sure what he is. He's gonna take his little wire thing and he's gonna spin it. And uh, he'll be invincible while he's spinning it. And then he'll shoot out little vine things from his head. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm talking about right now. Uh, and then that's his pattern for the first half of the fight. Maybe he'll jump around. Or maybe he'll um, pull himself toward a wall like that mini boss in um, Sting Chameleon's stage. But that's pretty much it until he gets down to about this much health, and he'll uh, turn all red, and then he'll do a little dance, and then lightning will gum everywhere. Um, it'll stop eventually. It'll stop like right before you. If you're at the edge of the room, uh, you shouldn't have any problem. But that's all. I think his super supercharged form with all the lightning sparks around him changed it him somehow but I don't really know but that was wire sponge and uh, because this is Mega Man we will get a weapon after defeating each boss X will X will cheer or something and then we get the uh, what do we get the strike chain yes it's the strike chain so we get the strike chain and uh, that's all for today I guess, and um, have a good day, like and subscribe, um, peace and sheep.